Okay, so we've gone over a brief history of video production and discussed a few important elements for capturing your story using the most economically awesome cameras, light kits, and audio equipment. But now that you've collected everything, what happens next? Well, it's called post-production, or more simply put, editing. And this is where all the magic really happens. Like a painter's canvas or a musician's guitar, this is where you will add your personal flair on your story, adding musical undertones to draw out certain emotions or preferences to give your story a certain feel, whether it be a timepiece or a dreamy flashback, and finally, output your story in formats that will allow you to share it with the rest of the world, online or even on a DVD. The truth is, there are countless software solutions out there that will help you manage all these goals. The question really comes down to personal preference. What are you comfortable with? What tools do you already know that could transfer over to the editing world? For instance, maybe you record music in programs like GarageBand or Adobe Edition, and you want to make the transition to video production. Or maybe you've never touched a prosumer interface at all, and you're only familiar with your web browser, YouTube.com and Microsoft Word. There's a solution out there for everyone. I started my career as a post-production editor and dabbled in almost all of the prosumer software out there, so I know what works, what doesn't, and what will give you the runaround to getting the job done efficiently. I'm going to introduce you to a few of my personal favorite pieces of software that, in my experience, make the most sense for producing quality videos from your footage. But please be advised before I start naming these off that at the end of the day, it's not about the software that you use, because all of them can pretty much do the same things. It really comes down to your creativity and using the tools that you have available to your absolute advantage. If you have some sort of vision in your mind for your video pieces, but you just can't figure out how exactly to attack them, don't ever give up. There's always an answer to create what you're trying to do. That's what I love most about all this software. It makes the fanciful images and stories that you see in your head 100% possible. Not always easy, but always possible.